terev oliku my journey oba olugendo range nange Judith naziwa wana ku AGM TV oluna ku bara sande esawa waziba bidi za nyini eza kaongeze program ya fe ebe mazo kutuka so mnange nyongero ku kubiriza weyongerenga okulaba shows za fezi no atebo malo o subscribing no ku liking o liking oba o commenting a uh, program eno tukulete na bantu abenja ulo ababa batambu denge endo za wena nebazi tunyumiza so nafe netufunamu ebi oku higo wale onolus nebatu waku magezi nafe tuko zetu tia okutu ukao ngabo wabatu sobo kuita uo wababe ilabo baita kwa utula wanga wazibu wabuna kwa rale rono mkulete de muna business atenga muizi atera nga mwana muto <laughs> tinonjua gira nseka because yeah, this is uh, like this is amazing singa no mwana omutate nga kola business ate asoma tewe nanga abikuwa saga nyo mulundi gumu onono simulala ye nuwabasa collins owa collins uh, financial services limited agenda ku watu buli ro lugendo le waje yatandikira achikoza atya okutuka wano watu so na ko ralero so tochusa tosaga sagana nkusaba otulokalire owulirize embozi ya collins nuwabasa collins so good to see you good to see you too Thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. so, um, how how do you feel that you're going to share your story with the world? Of course, uh, there is no problem. It's I feel problem. okay mm, because wow. I, I like sharing about my life. Mm. Mm. Of course, I see you're feeling okay about it because I I've been seeing you smiling all along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like smiling and mm. I don't like stress. I don't like things that give me stress. Wow. So that's why I'm always smiling. Wow, mm. that sounds so good if mm. you don't like stress. Because okay, stress yeah. is not good. Eh? Yeah, stress is not good. Wow. Mm. So uh, who is Collins Nwabasa? Uh, so uh, Collins Nwabasa mm. uh, is uh, a medical student uh, doing clinical medicine. Oh. And at the same time, uh, CEO of Collins Financial Services Limited. Wow. Mm. So, uh, how old are you before you go any further? <laughs> because the viewer, <laughs> the viewer will need to know how old Collins Nuawasa is. Uh, of course, uh, um, um, Collins, I was born in 2000, uh, 29th April, mm. which means I'm 22 years old. 22 years old. Yes. Oh, you're so young. <laughs> <laughs> so how uh, like how did you get uh, this thought of, of starting a, a business like Collins uh, Financial Services Limited? How did you get the thought of starting that business? Uh, the thought I got it when I was very young, yeah. How when old I was were you by the time? around because I was I was in senior three, 2016. Mm. I think I was 16 year, around 16 years old, 2016. Mm. So that's when I I got in the this idea of starting a business mm. so i was inspired by one of my teachers so that teacher was young mm -hmm. he was driving so i said i should at one time be like this so uh mm. when i went to my a level eh, mm. that is plus two high school shane mm. so uh me i wanted to become a doctor of course and you know when you have your dream mm -hmm. you should not uh, stop uh, achieving your, dr uh, your dream yeah so i wanted to become a doctor eh? So I decided to take biology, chemistry, math at wow. A level. Mm. Mm. But in uh, in O level, I used to save money. Hey. Uh, when I uh, I got that dream of starting business, of mm. doing business, so I started saving money. Like you got that dream in senior three, right? Yeah. So immediately after getting the, the, the dream of starting a business, a business. specifically it was a, a, a financial business, right? Yeah, like, yes, yes. Uh, giving, uh, like lending money to people, right? Yes, yes. So immediately you got the, after getting the, the dream, you started mm. saving. All you had, like you were saving even before getting that dream. No, I, I used to save. Mm. But uh, I, I, you know, when you are saving without a goal, eh, that is yeah. also bad. Ah. So by then I was saving without a goal, without uh, knowing what I wanted. Eh? Mm. But when I started like this. Hmm? When you got what you wanted in uh -huh. mind. So that's when I started saving goals. Uh, like uh, I got uh, strategies, what I shall do. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, even got goals, what I'm going to use the money for. Wow. Yeah, so I said, what if I start this business? Will it work? Mm. Hmm? So I said, let me give it a try. So when I, I went to A-level, that's plus two high school. 
So uh, just just right there. Mm. Uh, before you starting this business or mm. before you getting the dream, mm. uh, did you get the idea from some other person? Did you see someone doing that kind of business and you were inspired, or you just got that in your mind just just there? No, for that one, uh, I was watching some news on TV. Mm. Uh, you know this owner of Crane Bank. Crane Bank. Uh, this yeah. uh, Sudil. Sudil. Yeah. So I got the idea from Sudil. Oh. That one is my role model. So I, I, I saw Sudil, he's the owner of Crane Bank. Then I was like, what if I start also like a financial service mm -hmm. company? Mm -hmm. Then in the end, yes, it turns up into a bank. Because when you are dreaming, when you are set goals, you should dream big. Wait, wait, hold on. Mm. So uh, do you think one day it will become, Collins Financial Services will become a bank? Yes, it shall be wow. Collins Bank. That, that's so great. Yes, yes, yes. With time, it shall come, oh, yeah. it shall come Collins Bank. Mm. Yeah, so that man Sudil, uh, he was narrating his story on mm. TV on how he started, mm. on how he acquired money to start other businesses. Yes, yep. you get. So uh, he narrated that he started, uh, he got the money from his own bank. Mm. So I, I was like, what if I start this business? Mm. So when I went for a level, I, I, give, I gave it a try. You know, when you were in school, there are some students who are broke, who don't mm. have money. Yeah, right. Yeah, so what I did, I, say, I, I was like, what if I lend these people money? Mm -hmm. What will happen? Lending them money specifically for what? Because there are those people who are broke, mm -hmm. like they don't have money for break or lunch mm -hmm. or money for upkeep. And there are those who are broke, like mm -hmm. either their, their family background is humble, they yes. don't have school fees, they mm -hmm. don't have like the requirements. So yes. uh, what do you mean some of the students were broke and you needed, like they needed uh, some assistance financially? Uh, like I used to give those ones who, are, who don't have school fees. Mm. Yeah, like you were to do exams and you don't have school fees. Mm. So the, uh, I could give them some small money, 20,000, 50,000. So I give you 20,000 in one month, you bring for me uh, my 20,000 with profits. So I gave now you the try. With a profit of how much? Mm? With a profit By then I was giving a 10%, mm. a 10% profit. Wow. So uh, I started like that. So I gave it a try in mm. one month. I made a profit of uh, 10,000 shillings. Wow. Mm, Ghanaian shillings. Oh, so great. Then another month I gave it a try. I made a profit of 20,000. Mm. So I kept on pushing. Mm. I again started lending teachers in school. Mm -hmm. yeah, in, yeah, you give a teacher 50,000, but teacher you could give them at 20%. <laughs> Why? 20%. <laughs> uh, Why? Was it like, was this uh, the 10%? Was it an offer for the students? Or? Mm, an offer for, because teachers have money. Yeah, they are working and they are expecting money. There are those who don't have. <laughs> <laughs> so I give you, you give me after one month. Uh -huh. So in my vacation, mm. uh, you know, there are these students, uh, mm. like when they're in vacation, mm. I mean they're in holidays, they want their, like people to coach them, to teach them. Eh? Yeah. So just because I was doing biology, chemistry, maths, eh? mm. and uh, uh, you know sciences, uh, those parents, they be wanting people to coach their children. So they called me. Mm. So I started coaching, you get started coaching so when i uh, i could coach in a month you give me they pay me mm. so when they pay me mm. i get that money i lend it to someone Yay. you get so that it comes back with profits with profits wow so in the first month in the first month i coached mm. yeah i taught students uh, i got two hundred thousand shillings. Mm. so that two hundred thousand shillings, i gave mm. it to someone in one month he brought for me two hundred and twenty thousand wow in wow. one month that's good so there i became stronger i said this business is working <laughs> yeah, but you know when so you are starting on, right? uh, when you're starting business mm. there are some challenges you pass through eh? yeah right before we get to the challenges of mm. the business now mm. you know we started with you in uh senior three like mm. with you starting this uh business collins financial services limited yes but before senior three i believe mm. there is a life of uh colin Nwabasa we have not seen yes. like from your childhood oh. to senior three when you started that business <laughs> so how was your childhood like how uh like how was your childhood how uh, were you when you were my up? childhood was so boring so boring i started my primary from um, my nursery and primary in village Mm. Not in boarding, mm -hmm. but I was a day scorer. Mm. You could walk a long distance with my packed oh. food from home. <laughs> from right out from Nasai. Yeah, up to P7. Mm. You get. So I could wake up early in the morning. Yeah. I take the cows. I do what? I yeah, you had to first take the cows. Yeah. Before 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 going to school. Of course. <laughs> ah. Sometimes we first dig for one hour. 
Oh my god. So at what time would you wake up? Wake up at six, you dig for one hour, you prepare, you go to school. Oh my god. Get your packed food, you go to school running. You get mm. so that's the life I grew up in. Mm. Oh. Life so was so harsh. You grew up like you were a hard working boy even before yeah. before the business, right? Mm. I could, could I could grow crops like uh, you say this season I want to grow some uh, like Irish pota- potatoes. Eh? Mm. Then after the soon I sell. Then mm. after selling you buy some goat. Now on whose land would you uh, do that? Yeah, my business? father's land. He gave you a piece of land and he was okay with it. Yeah. Like you mm. uh, planting potatoes and then at the end you sell. I them. sell. After so, selling. Uh, now uh, with that money, like mm. the money you got from those things you could sell, mm. would you bring it home like for home use or still you saved it? No, that one I could say, let me buy something, let me buy some uh, some hens, let me buy some goats. Hmm? Mm. So there are those goats I use, I, I, I sold, uh, to get capital for starting this business, invest in this business, you get? Yeah, apart the goats from I the bought, savings you yeah, talked about. Yeah. The goats I bought when I was still in primary. Hmm. Mm. So, so who could help you? Who could help you wear these goats when you were at school? Of course, I have uh, my mom. She's also a hardworking woman. <laughs> wow, <laughs> eh. that's good. Yeah, so that's how my primary life was so boring. Hmm? But it wasn't boring because you were hardworking. So no, I could get I could get some like you find for you are studying from the village, and some students are studying from Kampala, Kampala Municipal. <laughs> they are studying from Balala Municipal. Those are the best schools I know. In Cambridge, eh, eh. where you are studying from the village, you go to school even without shoes. So like in holidays, you don't get friends to interact with because those I ones know. don't don't want to interact with you. Mm-hmm. So those are the challenges I faced. So I was like, mm-hmm. at this time I should be having uh, my ch- my child shouldn't face this. Wow. So that I said I should. So you were so determined. I should like work to... hard. Oh, wow, hmm? that's, then my dad that's was so like, Corners, you have to become a doctor." Mm. So I said I should have I, I have to become a doctor. Wow. So mm. uh, from senior six. <clears throat> Now I believe in your vacation still you you run this business right? Yes. So after the vacation, mm. uh, how how did you like move from the village to Kampala for this uh, for for the course you're doing right now? Oh, so after my my senior six the results came. Eh? I had scored I had fourteen wow. uh, in BCM, but they gave 14? me uh, fourteen out of twenty. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. You're so bright. <laughs> Uh, but you see, to get uh, like a, a bachelor's of medicine and surgery, mm. you have to have passed uh, with 18 and above. Mm, so I went to Barra University of Science and Technology, you know it, yeah. must. They gave me education. Mm? Education. So then I went. give you what you wanted. Uh, mm. I went to Kampala International University. Mm. They gave me medicine and surgery, bachelor's, but the tuition was so much, around 6.5 M. Huh? Yes. So like, your parents couldn't afford that? Uh, they couldn't afford. Mm. So uh, I had a brother of mine. Uh, he's called Osbert. Mm. He's also a doctor. Mm. Yeah, he has just he has just finished uh, finished. So he had friends who were studying from the uh, like it is called medical health professionals college here in Mengo. Mm. Yeah, here at Mengo Hospital, eh? mm. medical health professionals college. Mm. So uh, he's the one who who connected me this side. Mm. Yeah, so that so medical is that? a good school. Yeah, last year. Last year. Yes. Meaning you have just started that course. No, we started last year, but due to the fact that because of COVID, they tried to make semesters short. Mm. So I shall be finishing next year. Wow. Yeah, next year in June, so I shall be finishing. How, how long does the, the course take? Like the period? <laughs> there are three course. years. Three years? Yes. Hey. Mm, okay. Three years. So, he's the one who connected me this side. Eh? Mm. So when I came to Kampala, that's when my eyes were open. You know, when you are a businessman, eh? mm. anytime you see if, uh, like you see an important thing, you yeah. focus on it. Mm. So I could go to town. Mm. Mm. I look on. Uh, I look on th- those buildings. Mm. I look on the business in buildings. Mm. Yeah. So one time I, uh, there was a branch. Do you know uh, Pride Microfinance? Yeah, Pride. I know. So I entered the uh, Pride Microfinance office. Yeah. So I, I found the manager. But you know when you are when you are young, people start despising you. I know. Yeah. You're right. You're very right. People start despising because you. Because they don't see any important like thing in you. They don't. Yeah. See any. So I went at that office of Pride Microfinance. I said, I'm called Nova Sakolins. I'm a clinical medical student, and I'm also a businessman, and I want to know much about Pride Microfinance. Mm. So that person uh, was like, right now I'm busy. You come mm. next time. Next time I went there, again he was busy. But was he really busy, or he was just trying to, to bridge a gap between you and him? <laughs> Maybe. 
Because you know, when you are young, that's the thing they despise. Mm. Even on TV now, when they are seeing me, they say, ah, this young man, where did you get the money from? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you get it. Oh, eh? good, yeah. So the good. next time I went there, mm-hmm. I, I said, I'm not leaving here until I talk to you. Mm-hmm. You see, when you want a thing, you have to, have to, uh, yeah, you have uh, to, to persist. Yeah, you have to persist. Yeah. So I just did with him for some things. How bright microfinance does. Mm. So you were like, uh, we can give loans, mm-hmm. then we get we take some collateral security. Mm. Yeah. So you told So me. hold on. Uh before like mm. in a village when where you studied your your business from, mm. like to those people you could uh, lend money. Mm. Wouldn't you ask for anything like 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 for security? Maybe you give me your, your school ID, mm. I lend you my money. By then I could ask for only like a national ID. National ID. But that national ID I gave someone one one hundred thousand. That lady moved away with it. But you, you remained with her national ID? Yes, I, up to now I have it. Was she a teacher, a student? No, she was a businesswoman with a saloon. Ah. Yeah, with a saloon. Oh my so, God. Uh, just right there, you know, some people are <laughs> ruthless, totally ruthless. How can an old woman <laughs> <laughs> steal money from a kid? You know, a kid is striving to mm. put up a business, you mm. know, he's a student. In fact, you first get this feeling, what if it was my son trying to do this? And sometimes people are ruthless. Like, they don't give things uh, second thoughts before doing them. So right there, with Colin, uh, like, after him being, like, after stealing, like, some lady stealing money from her, we're going to have a break. Then we come back after a short while so that we get uh, to continue with Colin's story. So just don't... Just don't turn off the uh, like, don't turn off the channel. That don't go out of the channel. Just stay right there. We're coming back after a few minutes. Hena wabe ruboka. Oba no muto wakali ndala sobolo kwa playinga hena. Hena buli omu asobolo omu tekako omu dugavu omu eru owa chocolate. They do appreciate. Kwa demo kusoka batia, baso kakutia. Yeah. E, nga waga mba mguwe, usobola mguwe, ne mba gamba musa haga, tanja basala. So you get pain at the start, even at the end. But the pain which is bearable. <laughs> bearable. It's a bearable pain. The sweet pain, eh? It's a summer, but there's not that much pain. Nga wumanyi, nti abasajja, wakutunu ulida buwa chabalo oza. It starts with you. So pageantry starts with love, a lot of consistency, sleepless nights. All I will say is everything is waiting on for you. It just needs you to show up. Program my journey over all Uganda range, nange jidi naziwa. Ngade tu nawa kudayo kumbazi yafu. Ne Collins nuabasa. Ah, kanso kwenye tumideko abami wanu amanga agre waguma. Ah, Bashir, Kesi, mwenye mwenye nawa nawa AGM mukolo muri mguwa. Mani nyokula banga show enoiba etu kakumpe ona tenga ba abalabi wa kavali unjibaje kanya. Ba host ba program ezenja ulo ku AGM TV Rachel Magola wa Beauty Hacks Whitney ne wa Beauty Hacks uh, Lux Sandra mwenye mwenye nawa ambi. But you know, cameraman, Alan Don King, Kevin, producer, and you may be able to get a little bit of 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 a little bit Mm. Akuleke de national ID. Chiche waza kwa mbamle kabule si ne chigwera wa all. Wageza kwa kumukola uinga. Uh, of course I, I went there at the demand. Mm. And the woman was like, um, I have never seen you in life. Oh? So I became disparate and I said, let me leave you. Mm. Then Couldn't from there. Couldn't you report her to Paul? Maybe to police or to the LC1 chairman or to the defense? Ah, no, no, I couldn't do that. Why? Because the business was, study, was starting and it was not yet registered. So mm. there is no way you can report. There's no evidence that you signed. Okay. So, so did your parents know about the business? Like, mm. did they know you were doing this business? They came to know after coming, after registration. 
Hey. Yeah, that's when they, they knew officially that you officially. were doing this business. Hey. Ah, okay. So, so like uh when that one happened, mm. that's when I learned. Mm. Yeah, that's when I learned that I shall never give money to someone oh. when he or she doesn't give me a collateral security. Mm. Mm. So who gives you this advice of registering the business? Yeah. Uh, this idea, I got it from the other man of Pride. Pride Microfinance. Uh, so, oh. I was still telling you. Mm. So, he's the one who gave me knowledge about this business. Mm. So, it's like, when you have to do this business, mm. first of all, you register it. Mm. After registering it, mm -hmm. you get an office. After getting an office, you get a secretary. Mm. Then you put her there. You get it? Eh? Mm. Then after getting a secretary, so, their customers will bring themselves. Oh. Yeah, they will bring themselves. So by the time you got to this gentleman, mm. how much money did you have in cash for this business? Uh, I had around 2.5. Only 2.5 million. You have only... Gazona zona ozije mukuwola bantu no kuzani. Even coaching. Ne coaching. So they are around 2.5 million. Hey. 2.5. It was still small money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Compared to what you wanted. Mm. So what some I did. of us see 2.5 is... <laughs> <laughs> Some huge amount of money, <laughs> but if you say it was uh, uh, still small. Uh, so what I did, I went home. I told her I had bought my goods and whatever. Mm. So I sold them, mm. opened up an office. I so did where everything. did you open up this office? The office I, I did open it from in Kampala, paid it in Balala. Oh, hold on. Mm. Because you were going to study from Kampala. Hey. And how comes you open the business again in Barara? How, how were you going to do <laughs> these things? Like go to Barara? So in come? Barara, I targeted, I, I targeted, there's some group of people I targeted. Who are yeah. those people? Those women who like, who sell food stops on the road. You mm -hmm. get? Mm -hmm. uh, those, uh, but in Bay, those people, hawkers. Eh? Oh. Uh, those ones. So I put my business at Mbarara Central Market. Okay. Mm, Central Market. So I, I'm, I'm still asking, where mm. did you get the courage of starting a business in Barara yet you're going to study from Kampala? And you know Kampala is expensive. Mm. And when you start a business in Kampala, the taxes are much. And Kampala is full of, of thieves. Yeah. So those are the things I, I didn't want. Mm. Okay. And I didn't want things that can give me hard time like when you are studying and they call you at, at your office to squat. So I made sure I get a secretary. Mm. Then I have a brother of mine. He's studying from. He was studying from Bara by then. So I told her, I told him, you take charge. Yeah. So you trusted him so much. Yeah, I trusted him. Even the secretary. Yes. <laughs> you need the secretary is my cousin. Money. Yeah. Wow. So when when I opened up an office, I saw money coming, money coming, money coming. Mm. You get. Yeah. But you, you, when you are doing business, mm. you shouldn't inject all the money business. You have to save and invest. Mm. Mm. When you don't save, when you don't invest, that is poverty. Even if you are having a business, you earn two million every day. Mm. And you are not saving, you are not investing. Mm. That money is not yours. Like, you mean investing money for the, the money business. In, in some other businesses? No, I mean buying assets. Like. The asset you have, that is your money. But the money you have in the business, it is not your money. The business so, um, can collapse any time you've talked about saving and investing mm. so as you were doing this business yes where were you investing this money exactly uh, my first investment i bought land where yeah i bought land in a village uh, so in your home village yeah there are uh, around three acres of land ah yeah, so i made sure i plant oh. trees i planted two thousand eucalyptus trees Yes. <laughs> I'm only wondering. Yeah, I'm wondering trees. like how you come to do all those things <laughs> at your age, like how you keep thinking like here and there mm. for wow. So I was there, there was someone had a problem, was like I have a land I'm selling it. I said how much? It was like it is eight millions. Oh my god. Then I was like, my I have five millions. Then it was like, okay, you bring five millions, then three millions you shall pay uh, you shall be paying in, in installments. installments. So I had to buy that land. So I put mm. there 2,000 eucalyptus trees. Which year is that now? Yeah, it was uh, last year. Last year? Yeah, eucalyptus trees. So another investment, uh, after like few, few uh, around like, after like seven months, mm. yeah, I bought another land. Uh, that one, I'm, uh, I put there coffee. Uh, Still in your home village? Yeah, in the home village. But then even the, 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 the business of uh, Collins Financial Services was still going on. Yeah, like, it was still well. going on. Yes, that's why I'm telling like for those who want to succeed in business, don't inject all the money in business. In one business. The business can collapse at any time. Mm -hmm. You get you can get a problem and the business collapse at 
once. So, so you have to you invest. should always invest the money invest. in some other businesses to have a backup. Uh, and you see, case. when you invest in, in in assets, it is easier for you to acquire a loan. Mm. Now for me, right now, even if I want a loan of 500 million, I can get. Because I, t- I take them to my lands. Yeah, I have land titles. I say I want a loan of 500 million, uh, like 50 million. Mm. You get. And they give me. And I inject in the business. So that's, that's the, uh, like, uh, why people say, f- save and invest. So you shouldn't invest all the money in, uh, in like one business. in one business. Anytime it can collapse. So, uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, Collins, mm. in this uh, business of yours, the, the Collins Financial Services Limited. Yes. Did you ever borrow money to to add in this business? Uh, like uh, me in my life, mm. I had never gotten a loan or borrowed money from someone. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Till now. <laughs> Till now. You're running that business, you have investments, but you have never borrowed money. I had never. Because people have this mindset that um, maybe uh, everyone wants to, to start a business. Maybe mm. you should go get a loan, maybe a business loan, and then come, you know, mm. do that business. But at the end of some, some of them end up uh, paying loans, mm. but even the businesses, the businesses have, yeah. colla- have collapsed. But the good thing with this uh, financial cap business is, mm. of course, you give loans, but you also have people who save with you. So for me, the people who save with me, I give them some profit after the end of the month. Hey, okay. So that's why you don't uh, you find that money is always on account. So I no need of getting of getting a loan mm. because people are saving. Eh? Yeah, people are saving, and you give them profit. So instead of getting a loan, use that money they have saved. Then you give them profit at the end of the month. Ooh. So mm. is Collins Financial Services still in Barara or you, you have uh, moved, like you have created different branches in yeah. different areas? Uh, uh, I opened a branch in Kampara. It was in, it was, uh, like, uh, it was in Feb, yeah, February. This year? Yes. You opened up, you opened up a branch? Yeah, in Mengo Lunguja, they are down. Mengo Lunguja, I know Lunguja, mm. where exactly <laughs> in Lunguja? Stand it. <laughs> ah. Do you not stand it? No. Yeah, that's where it is. Wow. Mm. But so I want to, I want to make it big. Like I want to put an office on a, on a busy road, eh? like this Namirembe road here down. Mm. Eh? Yeah. Like on this Namirembe road, like those busy places. One day here, you get. And I target those places where it's market, like one day market, mm. like here Mengo market. Eh? So that's where you can get many customers from. Wow. Mm. So do you do you have a range like maybe? a range of the money you borrow you're like we start from this and we end at this we don't exceed this amount when you have a business like when you are having a very ra- good business running so what i do if you want a loan you call uh, you come to me then i come and invest the, uh, i i investigate it. Mm. then i uh, like uh i come to your business i take pics then i see how much you earn like daily then i can be able to give you two millions Oh yes. Yep. Yeah, actually, before uh, before we get to that, which kinds of loans do you give out? Yeah, uh, the loans we give business loans and school fees loans. Only those two. Yes. Why only those two? Why not other? No, loans? you can't get a loan to go out for an outing. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get a loan. Hey, you never know. There are those people who, who, no, who no, need no, maybe no, no, loans no. to go out, you know, enjoy, and they will <laughs> pay later. That is a risk. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a loan to go out, that is that one we can't give. But some people don't see it as a risk. Hmm? Some people may not see <laughs> it as a You get a loan to go out. Hey! Yeah, to take your that's girlfriend out. That's what they need at the, at the moment. That's what they need. Uh, no, 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 they no. need to go out, but they don't have money. So they're like, let's go to Collins Financial Services. We, get <laughs> <laughs> we go on a vacation. Uh, maybe, <laughs> like, when you have like some birthday party, mm. then you can give. You have some capacity. So if you can give out, if you can give out a loan for a mm. birthday party, that means you but can you see, also give out a loan. You see that for one is a party. That is a party. <laughs> Just going out, that is wastage of money. And oh, still, man, a party is also <laughs> a kind of wastage of money. Okay, if I have a birthday party mm. and I need a loan, yes, there. Would I you go. give it to me? There, I first see. I, I first see who are you? <laughs> what do you do? Where do you work from? I, can I may not be working, but I expect money from mm. my dad. Maybe he's gonna be paid at the end of the month. Yes. And right now he doesn't have money, and mm. I need money like yeah. now uh, to my birthday. So, so there we sit oh. down and you bring some collateral security. Then, then we give like you. Like what? The collateral securities we want now is uh, a valid land title. Ah, what if mm. I don't have a land title? You can bring a car card, a vehicle card. Okay, like 
for any any amount like if i need 100000 still i have to bring a laptop oh they they can bring a laptop mm. like for students you can bring a laptop what with its receipt you can bring your phone with its receipt if you don't have a phone you have a fridge you have a tv oh at your God. hostel ah yes <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah so you can bring your transcripts mm. like from p7 senior 4 senior 6 mm. or those uh, like transcripts but again you give them the time like in, in the, the period in which yeah supposed the to period the mm, of course well so we're, t- we're still talking about uh, the, the kind of loan you give out mm. so if it's a if it's a school fees loan mm. like which amount do you stop like maybe That's you say we don't exceed if it's uh if it's school fees we don't exceed one m so how much like do you what's the range yeah for school fees lo- loan is it you see school fees, uh, there we have many customers, many clients. So for school fees loan, we give a uh, gross, we can't exceed 500 because there are many people who want that loan. We can't mm-hmm. exceed 500,000. What if, what if I have a child in a school that pays around 1.5 and no. I need 1.5 like badly? Uh, there we give you 500 and uh, then you, you add more, add for yourself more. Mm. <laughs> How about business loans? Business. Why, what's the range? Range business uh, business starts from one one hundred thousand up to two millions. Up to two million. Mm, two millions. Oh my god! So how do you handle this thing of studying and business? How do you handle that? Yeah, you give it you you give it time. Now, like business, uh, like after after classes, like from six, I have to go to go at home. I sit. I see for today how much have I earned. Tomorrow, what am I going to earn? Then I do some calculations. You, f- you find me sleeping like at midnight. Mm. Then I wake up early like at three or four. I go to my books, I read. I go to my anatomy, pharmacology, mm. medicine. Oh I read. That's how I spend my, my time. Like what, what I mean? Mm. Maybe you being in class and you're mm. like, oh my God, I think uh, some, someone maybe took some money, but I don't think he's going to pay it in time. Like <laughs> you're thinking about the challenges in the business. You're thinking about uh, how to, to, to make it expand. Mm. Now, like you have told us about uh, opening up a branch on mm. a busy road. Mm. Like, don't you be in class and be like, I need to open up a branch around the Mirembe Road. No. And you're distracted in class. You see, when I leave home and I go to class, it is class. Yeah, I have my phone for business and for other things. Mm. So I make sure the phone for business, I leave it at home. I go with the only one for, for person, right? Mm. So if you want me, you call me at break time. You call me at lunch time or in the evening. When I'm in class, I don't deal with business when I'm in class. Mm. So uh, how do you deal with uh, people like people in the ages of your dad, your mm. mom, <laughs> who come for loans and they, they set their eyes on the CEO and yeah. he's almost there. <laughs> he's almost there, their children's age. Yeah. And you know, they come to you <laughs> to, to make sure you give them money. They have to sweet talk you to make sure you give them money. How do you handle such people? Of course, yeah. Those people, in fact, those are the people who are like, after taking loans, to pay back it is hard. Because they saw you are young, hmm. you're giving them money. So they think <laughs> like... <laughs> like mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this child has because I usually I usually get v- very many go, uh, like suggestions from them that for you corners you are still young you haven't gotten any problem hmm. now why why are you demanding me at this time for you yeah. are still young you don't have you have not yet gotten a problem hmm. now for them they think like getting money you have to be old yeah, and you must have you must be having problems yeah you must be having problems so how do you handle them no those ones are like I told you corners financial services. Like those big people, when like when I go to demand and they don't want to pay, I have mm. lawyers. Mm. Yeah, I have two lawyers. Uh, counsel, uh, the first one is called Counsel Hakim, another one is called Counsel Eric. So they are the ones that can do for me that can pray for me that part. Uh, so you mm. also pay them? Yeah, I pay them on commission. A basis. Commission when they work on someone, they, hey. I pay them. Oh, and Nini, I'm calling at Woodida. I get your handling a mavanta of a zibua, do our gany, Oxaslaka saying, taking a dalabanta of a kumumiak and Lamlabango manum too. At Woody and Gajaba handling a mo to get a home, Molidate, Catalonia to come out to get. Hena wabe rubo ka owa no muto wakali ndala asobolo kwa hena. 
Hena buli omu asobola omu tekako, omu dugavu, omu eru, owa chocolate. They do appreciate kwa demo kusoka batia, baso kakutia. Yeah. Eh, nga gamba guwe, osobola guwe, nga gamba musa, gata nja basala. So you get pain at the start, even at the end. But the pain which is bearable. <laughs> bearable. The bearable pain. The sweet pain, eh? Some but there's not that much pain. Now, woman, into Abasaja, walk to know you about your barosa. One no money is a money is a dara. It starts with you. So, pageantry starts with love, a lot of consistency, sleepless nights. All I will say is everything is waiting on for you, it just needs you to show up. Financial Services Limited kubutia bwa kwasaganya abantu ababaganya okuzza akasenteke nadala abantu abakulu no bibakole ebyo abagano okuzza akasenteke engeri jaba kwasaganya amu ne balo yazwe na butya bwa sasula balo yazwe nyongero kujukiza Collins muyizi atenga mwana akola business atenga mwana mutoyo sije sije chivusa maso cyo nsimbiye ko nyesira nawo mwana omutali eyo manyenti cha business kisoboka however much osoma so ah uh, Collins Yes. I <laughs> like when I go when I go to lawyers. Eh? Mm. That's when everything started moving on smoothly. Uh, because uh, like when I give you money, they am I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you are going to pay. Because when you fail to pay, the lawyers come into place. When the security. Yeah, with the security. Mm. Like when I take your land title, because land titles, uh, most of them, they might be like uh, they are unvalid. You get. Mm. Uh, they are invalid. Then uh, some cav uh, like cards they are invalid. So what you have to do, you have to get lawyers. Mm. Yeah, you have to get lawyers. They they look into those land titles, then they see this one is okay. Mm. So they are the ones that can handle that mm. part. So they help you look into the securities yeah. uh, that that are brought into your business yeah. before you give out money. Yes. So uh Collins, mm. business here yeah, no. Air Collins Financial Services Limited. Yes. Ojiraba wa mumia ketani dija maso kupakati. Because five years from now that will be 2027. Yes, yes. So where do you see Collins Financial Services in 2027? Collins Financial Services are like after finishing the course like this. Because of course I have to go and upgrade from bachelor's of medicine surgery. Then I upgrade for a master's, even PhD. So what I'm going to do, I shall focus on medical and business. So this business, I'm trying to open a big office on a busy road or in a busy place. Eh? Mm. After opening an office, then I get more and more customers. You get it? Eh? Oh. Then after getting more customers, because uh, now I uh, like calling financial services, we do many things. We do money lending, savings and financial literacy. Mm. Then for financial literacy, that's where I want to focus on. Yeah, because uh, we are going to start on, uh, like we visit different schools teaching students on business. Mm. Yeah, we started last uh, last month visiting different schools. So Collins Financial is it, Services... Is it, uh, is it that you get paid or you're just doing voluntary work? Voluntary work. So when they want to pay, they pay. Mm. When they don't know, uh, I don't care. Wow. Yes. That's great. So we want to be touring in two different schools, mm. each, and every, each and every school, teaching those students on how they can start a business and they become rich when they are still young. So Collins Financial Services will not focus only on giving loans. Mm. Yeah, many banks and many microfinances focus on giving loans just. Mm. But for us, we want to focus on many things. We want to teach these young youth, young how children, they are on how to save and they become rich when they are still young. Mm. So that's what we want to focus on in these five years. Wow. As we lend money, as we save, but we also teach other people on how to make, how to make money. Wow, that's so great. Mm. So how many employees does... Collins Financial Statements have? Uh, Collins uh, sorry, Financial Services. Services. Now we have five employees. Oh. We have two lawyers, then two cashiers and a fields manager. Two cashiers, one in Imbara and one here? Yes. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> yes. And are they also paid on commission or...? No, those yeah. ones are paid monthly. They're paid monthly. Mm. So, 
boss you also see mm. that be like yeah <laughs> and i'm your boss yes 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 mm. <laughs> you know, it's a way it sounds funny you know <laughs> employing like, how old are your employees like okay the oldest how old is no i don't employ <laughs> cal- uh, i don't employ these young young people eh? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. my employees are in 27 28 years why don't you employ such such young people No those ones are excited. They're excited <laughs> with money. <laughs> They can run away. But yeah. when you get the lady of because I have an employee uh she is 29 years. Mm. And she's good. She works. She's good. She's a diploma holder. Mm-hmm. Accounting and finance and she's good. Mm. She gives you respect as yes. the boss. Mm. When you come and in, I also like, respect her. <laughs> because she's my elder by the way some bosses don't then don't respect uh their employees however older they are mm. or however old they are <laughs> my my respect them eh? wow that's mm. so great should you should respect your elders even oh. though you are going to demand someone who's older than you there's mm-hmm. a way you you go mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because the these people can respect. curse you yeah <laughs> <laughs> these old people can curse you and your business falls down i know they can mm. but still <laughs> this is business you know? It is business but there is a way you handle this old person. Mm. You get? So uh, a guy of your age, mm. 22 years old, a sawa zino baba loza ku bintu binji. Mm. Amba loza ku kwamba lengo yeziliko. Yeah. Kwamba lenga te ziliko. Mm. Sawa ziliko kwata masimu ga base iPhone. Bichi mm. kuvuga moto ka. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Mm. Oh, patinga like clubbing. Mm. Ebi ntunge byo kati go to down no bilowoza kono buli amloka nina alfinye ch iPhone 13 ne sawa zino. <laughs> Obana alivuze ku moto yeah. kakasente nkakoze like anti you see uh, like me I'm 22 years eh? but mom I'm driving a Sienta wow yeah, a Sienta this it is not expensive but even if I want to, uh, to drive a Subaru I can but you should know you are level where you belong you shouldn't be having uh, like 22 years mm. and you still have to do many things and you are trying to uh, like to buy a Subaru mm. of 50 millions mm. You, you buy small car which can take you where you want to go yeah don't be having like don't be like in the business eh? mm. the first thing you have to know you are live when you know you are live everything will be okay wow mm. so kati you don't spend money anyhow no i can't spend anyhow mm, to those useless things manya Like, Every... don't you go partying clubbing like you be like hey, <laughs> kwana jangu, mwana, wa club, wena, of course like, you see in this world you have you have to eat on your man of course when you work you have I to know. eat on your man yeah even me ngamba bana bantu nga afusa addicted kubanga ina cent achimanya ina cent so nga manyi like buli weekend iba ina mabalamu ba manyi iba ina okay toba era ka ono funa kuchirowoze ah no i have never but for me if i work in a month and i get some good profit I say uh, this time I have to go to Sheraton and I eat on chicken. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you call your friends. Yeah. Call your, like, your five friends, mm-hmm. like two girls and three boys, you go up. You go out and have fun. Mm. Wow, that's great. Still mm. on that very point. Yeah, you mm. call your friends three girls, like three boys, you go out. Yes. About your girlfriend. You know when you have money? Mm. Yeah, there are very many people like think when you have money you can date. Like you can date, you can get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. What? So when you got money, or at this time that you get money, you get some good amount of mm. money. Talk now, catch yourself. Come back, my girlfriend. Uh, that one will come in. Will come on. Uh, it will bring itself. Mm. But now I don't have. But now you don't have. Yes. Of course, as a boy, you be having it in your mind. But I, I be there and I ask my, I ask myself. Mm. What are the f- five reasons of me getting a girlfriend at this age? Mm-hmm. What do I want from her? <laughs> mm, you also give me f- you give me five reasons <laughs> of me getting a girlfriend at this age. <laughs> no, of course I, I I don't know. <laughs> I cannot speak your heart because I, hey. I don't know how you handle things maybe. Because but do you know why I asked? Mm. Abavubuka basinge na kuzino. In fact, abamte ngatebana bana kuweza 22 years. Ngaba mm. tu ngoro kwa laba chitawa ina sente mm. in fact never now what had necessary sente mm. ya bala ba agama ntuse kati mulina awuliranga atusa yagala girlfriend alaba akuze yes. so chemba dengeza ko kuboza gwe mulito chikona kama eh 22 years nina sente ya moto kanyina nevuga no. cha yagala you see you see these girls ma ma i have i have studied with girls and mm. i have dealt with girls and i studied their psychology and i know what they usually think me getting a girl at this age mm. That girl I shall never marry her. Mm, just trust me. Because these girls, you shall get her like today. 
you date for one, two, three years, she will leave you and go with another one. She will eat your money. Because these girls want care, and care means money. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she'll eat yes. your money mm. and then leave you. <laughs> and then leave you. <laughs> eh. wow. So that's that's why, like after the course, mm. yeah, after the course, then when I have uh, built some good house, because now I can't date a girl whom I shall take to my, whom I shall take to the village, when I don't have my own building, my own mm, big, my village. own mansion in vi in village. Wow. You get. I understand. So you have. To prepare for her yeah and you know the more you get the money the more like the quality girl you get now when I get a girl like at this time because mm. many girls are there in front they are there coming for yeah. us waiting for us yeah. mm. so I want first do business get money they will bring themselves and um, I know like we normally have friends and in the friends we have we have those with negative thoughts mm. about us and those with positive thoughts about us mm. how do you deal with your friends with uh, negative thoughts about you and your business of course there are many there are many haters hmm. there are many that's why uh, yeah, they they come in uh, they, they bring themselves as friends to uh, you, as friends but in actual sense they are not they are not so how do you deal with them of and course, how do you know this one is a hmm. hater or this one is a friend with a negative mind of course you can't know you can't know just you will come a person the way he is hmm. you get you will come her, you will come him the way he is so after uh, like you keep on you keep on studying him slowly by slowly uh, you see how how he thinks mm. is he is he valuable mm. because many friends they come to me like they see me having money mm. so they, wa they want to become friends of mine just because, because i have money, of money yeah. just they want money so mm -hmm. uh, i'm not such a person who befriend those people why can't you befriend you when you're interested in money so love me when you want you love me just not because of money just yeah they should love you for you yeah, yeah, yeah. Just but not for your money yeah wow that mm. sounds so great <laughs> so as we're winding up yes. collins mm. madam zaba mm. got to know the camera ya feno mm. or camera za fezino yes obeko ebigambo ebizamu amanyi mm. obe biwabula byogambo omwana aliyeyo owe mm. miyaka jo oba kusinga ko obuto no ya kusinga ko obukulu mm. omuntu yenna yenna kale mu bufunze yandi yagadde Mm. I need to show a business. Obe yes. yandi agadde na opwa mu business. E fana ni dize iyo. Mm. Obe yakola ko business ne bigana. Mm. Obe ke bigambe bi amagezo obe bi okuwa bula bi omuwa. E bi na muiyamba okugena mumaso. Okutandika e chechimuli mu mu mutwe oba mu bidoto. Mm. No kuzu kusetu e chali chafa. Ah, okay, for any person there wants uh, like you want to do business and you want to become rich at young age. First of all, you train your you train your heart your mind. To develop the habit of saving mm. you train your minds to develop the habit of investment yep. zero saving zero investment that is poverty mm. yeah don't don't be short-sighted because you shall get money and you shall be short-sighted you shall get like one m you say this one m i have to buy an iphone you invest that money in one year it shall be 1.5 millions you get yeah. so zero saving zero investment it is poverty so the only thing i can tell the people who want to succeed in business mm. you save you invest after saving and investing, you shall receive a lot and a lot of business knowledge mm. within you. No one will give you business knowledge. It is you after starting. Before you start, you shall never get business knowledge. Someone will give you theory. That is theory knowledge. Now, what I'm giving it is theory knowledge. Mm. But practical knowledge, you get it within you, within your minds. Yeah. After start saving and after investing, you shall get practical knowledge within you. Wow, that's so great. Still, uh uh, of course, uh, I can't fail to greet on my dad. Yeah, you know, his dad is watching. Then my classmates at Medical Health Professionals College. Mm. Yeah, I have there my friends, yeah, the people I study with. Eh? Yeah. Then uh, the people I work with in the hospital. All of them are hi to you all. Wow. Mm. It was great hosting you, Mr. Collins Noavasa. <laughs> We've had some good time. <laughs> I really loved it. Yes. Yeah, over double we will in your over my journey over Olugendo Range. Nange Judith Naziwa. Well, not a little to bad Dene Collins Noavasa, Madam Tomia Cabin, maybe. 
akola uh, business uh, ya business ya bajita Collins Financial Services Limited osobera no munango kujana kuola kasente obuli da ola school fees agaba school fees loans ne business loans osobera kujja na kuola kasente nawe no tambuze milimu jo kujitwala mu maso tobere yone wetu la ko just like that atunyonyo de bintu bingi nyo atubuli de a uh, echiroto chino ola like, ikutabo ya chifuna butabo ya chizimba of course te yakera ku machana achikola umundi gumu like na chipoping up nga ina business no atubuli de ya tani kila yona subida obaddo following ne watu se sawa zino kale no munange na waliye onkuza mu amanyi nawe ocha sobola if colin can do it at his age nawe miaka joli kecho tewenyo matayo malamu manyi wadengo labo okulidde miaka jiubi akata jikubi dakatamba la mkwano cha sobola just get up tie your shoelaces and continue with the journey tote wetu ulako bulichimu chisoboka as long as you live as long as you have life bulichimu chisoboka twegwe ko na ko lala tewera bila sande sawa bidi program eno ebera yoku AGM TV twegwe ko na ko lala nainga sin na signing out kante kale keka Alandon King ku camera Kevin ku camera tenga yo producer ange mwe bale nyomwe bali redala kama aba omukisa oromu limogwa manyo gwe mukoze mwe bale kola nange mwe bale bitane kanyo bale bitankoa <laughs> see you next time